Hey, this is Russ. Hey, I hope everyone's safe and keeping their distance from others, at least six feet away from each other. Uh, I had mentioned that I would be doing a knee replacement video at least one every couple of weeks. So I think it's time to give you an update. Now, as you may know, I stopped going to physical therapy several weeks ago simply because of social distancing. Um, I felt that it was time that uh, I should just take this on my own. I, I had been going to physical therapy for six months. My knee replacement was done, when was that done? Uh, September 19th of 2019. And here it is um, in March already. And so we've gone past six months. And during that time, I went to 76 physical therapy sessions. <laughs> Hard to believe. And these are, these are just the sessions that were uh, outside. So, um, if you count the four physical therapy sessions I had at my own home, that would make it at 80 physical therapy sessions, which is a lot. And every single one of those, uh, you scream in pain. <laughs> So um, it's been several weeks now. I have not gone to physical therapy, so I'm not screaming in pain anymore because nobody's pushing on my leg anymore. But I have to wonder if, um, if my flexion has gone down a little bit. But I do know, even though the physical therapist is not there pushing on my leg, I am able to pull back on my own now. Uh, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess at least 105 degrees because we hit 105 degrees by myself uh, before the physical therapist was pushing on my leg before. We took a measurement just to see how much I could do on my own. And I believe I can still do at least that much. If I sit on a chair or if I sit on my recumbent bike and just pull my leg back, it's way past 90 degrees. It's, it's pretty obvious because you can see it going past that. So I think I'm able to hit at least one, 105. I don't have the measuring devices to measure myself. And quite frankly, it would be difficult to do it yourself. You'd need somebody to help you do that. But I know I, I can get at least that. Now, the doctor has always said you need at least 115 and the preference would be 120 degrees. I think I can do that if I was warmed up from, from the physical therapist or somebody pushing on my leg and then trying again on my own. I think I can get there. So I think I'm about as far as I'm gonna be able to go, but I do continue to exercise on my own on my recumbent bike. So, I have to wonder though, have I been fooling myself thinking that my, my knee is less swollen now? For several weeks I kept saying, I think it's less swollen, I think it's less swollen. <laughs> so I took a photo of it yesterday and I will put a couple photos up here for you to take a look at. And um, no, I don't think so. Uh, you can see on this first photo here, you'll see a comparison of my my, I hate to say my good knee because that knee is just as messed up <laughs> compared to the one that was operated on. But you can see it's swollen. And um, my right knee does have issues too. I was originally going to do uh, a knee replacement on that knee uh, sometime this early this year, but I decided not to uh, considering how much pain I had gone through with the left knee. So I've pushed that off. And people think that, you know, um, you should be able to be okay with that. But again, my right knee has issues too. And I think after putting so much weight on the right knee and relying on the right knee so much more to get my left knee through, I think uh, it's wearing it down to the point where now, believe it or not, when I'm just walking a little bit, my right knee hurts more than my left knee, which is the one that was operated on. So the question now is, do I, do I need to go in for a knee replacement for the right knee? I, I know eventually I will, but I'm going to push that off as far as I can. So with a little bit of um, hesitance of doing it, and of course now is not the right time to have any type of surgery done, uh, I'm, I'm going to hold off on anything on the right knee. Let me show you too a, a comparison of the knee taken three months after the operation and then um, six months or so after the operation. So if you look at this photo here, you're gonna see um, it looks almost exactly the same. <laughs> now, the, the one that was recently done here in March is a higher resolution photo. I used a, a uh, higher grade camera and lens on a tripod to shoot this. And I, and I shoot all these things by myself. I set it all up. I, I am a professional photographer for those who don't know. Uh, but the one taken in December was just a selfie taken with a cell phone. So I just kind of held it below so that it was near the knee level and then take the shot. So um, although 
the current one seems to be looking almost worse. It's only because it's, it's a higher resolution and the angle is a better angle. It's actually taken at the perfect knee height angle. So if you look at the two though, they're both about the same amount of swollenness. Is that a word? <laughs> So I just wondered, have I been fooling myself thinking that this, the swelling is going down? And I think I have been fooling myself. I think it's exactly the same. Now I did a little bit of searching on Google um, images and I just looked up uh, swollen knee after knee replacement. And I'm telling you, everybody else's knee looks just like mine. Now if you not, have not had problems with your knee replacement, I don't think you have these issues. But if you have had some issues with it, it probably looks like this, right? So compared to your own knees, and I know there's a number of you who have subscribed to my channel strictly because of the knee replacement uh, things with yourself and your interest in, in following along with me, and I appreciate you guys doing that. Make a comment below, let me know how your knees are doing and what you're doing during this time with the, the crisis that we're all going through right now. Are you going to physical therapy? Are you working it on your own? Uh, I know some of you are, are freshly uh, into this knee replacement thing and so you really need physical therapists now are you going or are you dealing with it on your own I'm, I'm just curious uh, luckily for me I've gone to so many and I, I, like I said I, I finally hit 130 degrees of flexion um, I, I really wonder what would have happened if my knee replacement was just done recently and now you know, this thing of uh, staying away from everybody uh, is happening. How do you do physical therapy then? So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm scared for all of us for that. Anyways, uh, I wanted to give you that update, let you see what the knee looks like. And if, um, if you can, please make a comment below. Those of you who do not have a knee replacement going on, but just curious on how my knee is, uh, you make a comment too. Let me know what you think of all this. Um, I'm still not able to walk very well. I still use the cane, but I can walk without the cane. Uh, around the house, every now and then, you'll see me you know, around the island in my kitchen there. Uh, I'll be walking without the cane. So, uh, but I can always grab onto that, that um, surface, you know, so there's some stability if I need it. Uh, but I don't feel comfortable just walking outside without the cane because uh, I need that just in case. And I know a couple times, I feel like uh, I'm weakening a little bit. I, I need that support. So I think the cane's going to be with me for quite a while. But uh, my leg strength is much better now. I am able to walk on my own if I wanted to. Uh, just short distances, of course. But uh, it is getting better. But the swollenness is still there. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely hit the little bell icon so you'll get in notifications whenever new videos from me come out.